Hi, and welcome to a new B tutorial. B stands for Best Email Editor. That's not an arrogant statement, it's our goal. We want to create one of the very best email editors around. And today we're going to be showing you how to create a simple email signature in B. Um, email signatures are a great option for marketing emails. They're not just necessarily for your personal emails or for business emails, but they can certainly be included in your communication with subscribers. It's a great way to show your brand identity, reveal your brand voice, show who you are, kind of peel back the curtain, and let readers know that it's not a robot sending these emails, but they're actual people. And we're going to draw inspiration today from this great email from HubSpot. We often see HubSpot marketing emails that come um, with a little signature at the bottom. This one's from Juliana, the marketing manager. And then we also spotted an apartment therapy email recently that included a short, short letter from the editor at the top, including a signature and another photo. So these are great personal touches that you can implement in your own emails. And they're really easy to make in the B editor and we'll show you how. I'm gonna to start today by kind of um, taking inspiration from this signature from Apartment Therapy. So over in the B editor, I've cleared out my uh, basic template. I can really start with any kind of template here. But all I'll do is pull over this dual column structure where the column on the left is a little narrower than the one on the right. And I'm going to have an image in each of these. One for my headshot, one for my signature, and one for the byline underneath. That'll be text. Once I have those set up, it's really easy to just pull in the images. And then underneath, put my name. Great. So if I wanted to add some links or a call to action, I could certainly do that in here as well. One option could be to add social media buttons, which could go probably nicely right underneath. I could put them in a gray scale. I could left adjust them. I could also change what I include here. Uh, we just started a Pinterest um, page with a bunch of great boards, so I'd definitely add that. Um, and be sure to link each one. Another thing I could do is add a call to action underneath my signature. And I could link that. And I love this option that we can underline the link or not, because oftentimes I don't want it to be underlined. Um, and what I also would like, like about B is that I can kind of quickly change this link color to be something different. And I'm going to go with something that really stands out, like how about a bright pink. And I can update it, Georgia font, and get rid of this. So I keep one focus call to action here. This might look nice in italics. The other cool thing is I can email this image directly in B. Once I select it, if I click Edit Image, um, we can open Aviary here. Um, and one thing that I really like is having the option to make images black and white right in the editor. This is going to help my pink text really stand out too. So there's the first take at the email signature. Um, go ahead over to the email design workshop blog to learn more about how to customize and have fun.